In this video, we'll be working with strong acids and strong bases, and we'll be trying to find the pH of solutions of them. So in all of these, it's best to start out by writing the actual dissociation equation for them, and it'll save you a lot of time and trouble in the future if you do that every time. So for hydrochloric acid, we write it out. And since HCl is a strong acid, we know that it completely dissociates. So that's how we, we do the uh, single arrow rather than the equilibrium arrow. So now that we have that, we want to find the ratio of our moles of H3O plus to HCl. So So with this ratio, we then are interested in finding the concentration of H3O plus in order to find the pH. So we multiply this ratio by our 0 0.40. And that tells us that we have 0 0.400 molar H3O plus. So now we're ready to solve for the pH. And from the definition of pH, it's just equal to the negative log of H3O plus. So now we can plug our numbers in. And when we calculate that all out, we should get 0.3. 399 nine. and that's going to be our pH and we check the significant figures with logarithms we want to take the total number of significant figures and that number of significant figures should be past the decimal and that checks out that's our pH now <coughs> we can move on to a little harder one, a dissociation of another strong acid. And this is H2SO4, which we know is a strong acid. So we're going to write out the dissociation equation for it. And we use the single arrow rather than the equilibrium arrow. So you can see there's two H3O pluses per one H2SO4. So we write out our ratio. And then our molarity is 22.10 millimolar. So we need this to be in molar. So let's convert it to molar. And after that, we should get 0.2. So now that we have our concentration of H3O plus, we can solve for the pH. And we get 1.3546. As you can see, four significant figures here. And there should be four significant figures in your answer past the decimal. So that checks out. <coughs> so many students tend to not get this ratio right. So their answer, they think that there's 0 0.02210 moles of H3O plus. 
and then they get the answer completely wrong. So that's why it's important to write out the dissociation reaction completely before you start the problem. Okay, so now we can do the, another problem with a base. And in this case, we have calcium hydroxide. And so let's write out the dissociation equation. And make sure we're not forgetting that this is a strong base and it completely dissociates. So we have two hydroxides produced. So we check that out. So now in this case, we're interested in the concentration of hydroxide per however many calcium hydroxides we have. So our ratio is two OH minus per one calcium hydroxide. And then we're told that we have a 0.53 millimolar solution. So we always convert that to molar. So it's times 10 to the negative 3. And we should get 1.06 times 10 to negative 3 molar. And that's our concentration of hydroxide. And that's exactly what we need to find the pOH. So the pOH is just like the pH except for it's the negative log of the concentration of OH. And after that we should get 2.975. Three significant figures there, three significant figures there. So that checks out. So now we want to find the pH. So from the definition of pH, it's just 14 minus the pOH. So we take 14 minus, and we should get 11.025. And that's our pH of the strong base.